Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Graham. I am a cookbook author and a TV show host, and I am so excited to be partnering with Discovery Vitality and the Healthy Food Studio to bring you some lockdown recipe inspiration. And just to add a little bit more goodness into our lives with some quick and easy and fuss free recipes. And um, this is a recipe from my brand new plant-based cookbook, which is called Supernatural, and it's in stores now, and it's full of so, so much goodness. Um, so that might be something that you want to check out. And you can also find out more about me over at sarahgram.co.za. The recipe that I want to share with you is a jam-packed full of goodness nourishing green power smoothie. So it uses just a handful of ingredients. Um, most of them are pantry staples, just to make your life a little bit easier. But it's just the kind of smoothie that works perfectly as an on-the-go breakfast or mid-afternoon snack just to give you a little burst of energy and get you through a few more hours at your desk or just of life. Uh, so I always start with a banana, preferably a frozen banana because that just makes the smoothie obviously nice and chilled and even creamier. But if you don't have a frozen banana, that's absolutely fine. Frozen bananas are also so useful to have in your freezer stash to add into uh, banana bread once they've thawed. So that's a Great little way of using up overripe bananas. Okay, so I'm just adding that into my blender. And then I want a good handful of greens. So it can be baby spinach, it can be kale, it can be Swiss chard, anything that you have. And then I add in a tablespoon of chia seeds. These are really full of good fiber. You can use flax seeds or linseeds if you prefer. And then, and for me, this is the star ingredient, just a little teaspoon of peanut butter because I don't actually love green smoothies. That, that spinachiness, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, but if you add just the smallest teaspoon of peanut butter, it masks a lot of that spinachiness and makes it really, really delicious and creamy and kind of like a pudding in a jar. So, final ingredient is half a cup of water and then half a cup of milk of your choice. You can use whatever milk is your preference. Rice milk, oat milk, almond milk, or regular cow's milk, so that goes in. If you like and you prefer it really, really frosted and icy, you can also throw in some ice cubes at this stage. Okay. And then we just blend it. Okay, and then just a little taste. And you can obviously easily double the recipe uh, and then, you know, it'll serve two people. Or I could add in a little bit more water and make this slightly thinner and this will probably serve two people as well. Mm. You have to try it. It tastes so much better than it looks and sounds. It is jam packed full of goodness, um, pantry staples, perfect way of using up bananas that are past their best uh, and just keeps you going during the day. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you make it. Tag me and obviously thanks to Discovery Vitality and the Healthy Food Studio for having me and um, sharing this recipe with you guys on my behalf. Stay safe, eat well, and keep on cooking.